warm welcome. The fans have plenty of reasons to be excited tonight here in North London. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It is Tottenham Hotspur versus Chennai. In. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Number 21, Dijan Kulusevski. Number 10, Harry Kane. And number 7... This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris between the posts. Jung Min Son plays with Dejan Kulusevski out wide. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Romero. It's with Porro. Well, Spurs now in potentially a dangerous position. But the danger averted for now. Son in with a chance. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. An effective challenge. Ivan Perisic. Perisic! Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. And a goal kick given. Kane it's with Porro Kane chance to play it in Kane Rivière and return to Kane well he really read that brilliantly Son. But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks, and you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card.
and you need your defender to take charge and now Perisic now Harry Kane poor pass under no real pressure difficult to stop him real chance and a goal to square the game edge of the seat stuff Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Pedro Porro. And Hoybier with it. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. Ali, Julius Duca. Oh, that's a super ball over the top. Really important tackle. Ivan Perisic. Oh, not hard to read that pass. the flag's gone up and there wasn't much in that skip now Harry Kane Perisic can he finish here? And striking the outside of the post with that effort. And it's going to be a goal kick here. Julius Duca. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Given away by Tottenham. Ali. And he did well to cut it out. Romero and Hoybier with it Kane can he put them ahead and the keeper stretching to deny him And deciding to go short with this one. Poibier. And a very good challenge. Julius Duca. Now Harry Kane. Romero. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Throw-ins given. 
So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Slipshod passing. Son. This looks more than decent. Now, he could be in hot water here, having already been booked. Well, he stays on the pitch. No second yellow card. Well, he's a very lucky boy, Derek. That was a poor challenge. Son's ball into the middle. No more time left. That is it for the first half here at the home of Tottenham. Well, such is the lot of an attacking player. Some days it works for you, on other days, not at all, Stuart. Yeah, you're right. He's looked a bit lethargic today. I'd like to see him demanding the ball more, working the defenders harder, and unless he does that, I can't see him affecting the scoreline here. So back underway here into the second half. Happy to take on the shot. Really good diving stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. Playing it in, and the keeper taking care of the situation. Out of play for a Spurs throw in. Fabier. Spurs get the advantage from the referee. Dejan Kulusevski. On. Now Harry Kane on the move. Can he play it in? Maybe a chance for Spurs here to take the lead from a corner. And the referee now going back to deal with the earlier incident. A yellow card it's going to be. favoured a short one here well, no end product oh he's through here oh marvellous goalkeeping well it's a top class save from a top class goalkeeper that's absolutely brilliant Played over. Didn't quite go to plan. Fabier. Now Harry Kane. Pedro Porro. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Moving it forward. And delivered into the box. Well, nothing comes of it. Can they forge ahead? 
Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. And over it comes. No nonsense clearance. Fed over towards the back post. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So the ball is rolling again. That should shake up Spurs a bit. Oliver skip. Perisic with the ball. Son. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Easy save. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Can he put it away? And quite simply, a wonderful chance was squandered. And abusive language will not be tolerated in the stadium. Thank you. Well, there it is. Spurs have controlled the possession, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. Burns did well to win back possession. Arnaud then Yuma. Cleared away. Oh, what an opportunity! And it goes to increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Son. Ivan Perisic. It's with Poro. Arnaut then Yuma. And he's certainly in the mood for his second. Well, he's certainly looking a threat. He looks so sharp today. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. Number nine, Richarlison. Spurs with the corner. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, thumped clear. Son. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. And he's made headway. Will he? Able to get his body in the way. <laughs> Trying.
Trying to pick out a teammate. And the problem not completely solved. And I think the threat has been averted. A Spurs free kick it's going to be. Well, the referee won't be quite as lenient next time. Got to tread more carefully. Harry Kane. So the final whistle, and it's a story of defeat for Spurs in this one. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, the fans are right to expect more. The tempo of their passing was too slow. They were second to the ball too many times and were beaten by the better side today. And then the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.